Hey, what's going on guys? Mike here back in the Aquarium Lab with a brand new unboxing video. Today we got some stuff from Aquatech, which is really gonna help me out with my dwarf cichlid planted tank build that is almost done, okay? I got everything pretty much done. I'm just waiting for the plants to grow out a little bit more so the tank looks a little bit better. So hang in there with me just a few more weeks and hopefully I'll be able to wrap that video up and get it to you soon. So let's go ahead and open this box up so I can get the stuff that's inside of it out and set up over here on the tank. So the theme here today guys is CO2. So first off, let's pop the first thing out of here. We got some CO2 proof tubing. Super important for when you're using pressurized CO2, in my opinion. If you're doing something that's more along the lines of, of a DIY fermenter, or you know something along the lines of that, you can get away with using vinyl tubing. You don't wanna use airline tubing. But when you're spending more for your CO2, you wanna make sure that all of it is getting into your tank and nothing's leaking out. So I always use some type of CO2 proof tubing, which in pretty much every case ends up being Aquatex CO2 proof tubing. So that's really handy. I'm glad I got some extra feet of that. I actually have a ton of this stuff laying around the place. You can never have too much of it, but that's always nice to get an extra piece. This is 16 feet of tubing. That's a really good length. You know, I'm notorious for stretching out my CO2 tubing all around the room. I have a splitter that's from Aquatech that is a just a three-way splitter, but it fits, you know, all my tanks now. But since I'm adding some more tanks, I'm gonna need some more tubing, and I'm definitely gonna need a bigger splitter, which hopefully we'll find here in this box in a minute. And what do you know, here it is, a little bit sooner than a minute, but this is Aquatech's six-way splitter that fits onto all of their CO2 regulators. And this thing does just what it's called. It's gonna let us split our CO2 up into six different channels, which we can control independently. It just screws right into the existing output of your regulator and you're all ready to go. As we all know, having one fish tank quickly turns into having two fish tanks and then all of a sudden you'll have like a hundred of them. And if you're gonna be into growing lots of plants, trust me, you're gonna naturally gravitate towards using CO2, so don't limit yourself. Do yourself a favor and pick up a three-way splitter at least. If you have a bunch of tanks, you might as well get a six-way splitter while you're at it. The three-way splitter that I got a while back has been really nice to have. It's worked great, no leaks or anything. I haven't had to do anything to you know, prevent leaks or anything, so I'm super stoked that I have this. So now we have the main item in the box, which is the CO2 mini regulator. This is gonna be meant for a paintball tank, which is what I'm gonna be using over on the 20 gallon cichlid tank. So I have a paintball tank around here somewhere. Let me grab it. Here we go, this is just a standard 20 ounce CO2 tank, which this regulator fits onto. Now what's really nice about this is that it has a built-in solenoid. So in the past, when I've done paintball CO2, I used a regulator that was sort of like a cheapo one that I got off of eBay, and it didn't have a solenoid. Not having a solenoid, in my opinion, is a big mistake, unless you wanna come out to your tank every night to make sure to turn your CO2 off, or if you have an air stone running all day and all night. Um, for me, I don't do that. I just think it's a lot more convenient to go with the solenoid, pay a little bit extra, make sure you have it. It'll help you out in the long run. I certainly don't run an air stone in any of my planted tanks. It's not really necessary. So having the solenoid is definitely a necessity. But let's go ahead and open this up. I wanna take a look at it and I'll show you how nicely it fits on this CO2 tank. When you get the regulator, uh, it also comes with a little bubble counter, so I've used these before. They're not the sturdiest of things, but they work. You have your tank pressure and your working pressure, and then you also have uh, where you can adjust it into the tank. So this is where you would put your line that goes into your aquarium. I'm gonna just screw it on here gently, not all the way. Something that's different about how a paintball tank works compared to a traditional you know, five pound CO2 tank is that once you reach a certain point here, it will begin to open the tank. So you'll hear a little bit of hissing and at that point you need to quickly go all the way and get it on there. And as always, I recommend that you do a soapy water check to just make sure that you don't have any leaks. Handy little regulator. So I haven't used this unit before. If you guys have, let me know in the comments below. Have you had good luck with these things? Do you like using paintball CO2? 
as you know an alternative to having to pay extra to get a five pound CO2 tank. When it comes down to it, it's not a ton of extra money to go up to the five pound system. That's why I did it and I don't use these on all of my tanks. It works out to be fairly close to the same amount of money, but let me know if you guys like to use this method. And you could actually fit any of the splitters that Aquatech makes onto this small regulator as well. But given that it's gonna be hooked up to such a small tank, you know, if you're gonna use this 20 ounce paintball tank on, let's say, more than two fish tanks, it's not gonna last very long. I can see this setup being really nice for somebody just based off of size though. Um, maybe if you have an extra tank in your bedroom or something far away from your main display tank and you still wanna have CO2, this would be a great option for um, somebody like that. Let's take a look here at the last thing in the box, which is a three-in-one multifunctional CO2 diffuser. Okay, that's reading the packaging verbatim. But what this is, is a bubble counter and a CO2 diffuser in one. So instead of having to have an external bubble counter so we can monitor the amount of CO2 that's going into our tank, we can just see it if we can see the diffuser itself. Now in my tanks, I like to put these things in the back of the tank so you can't see it. So having the bubble counter in there, maybe not the best thing. I'm gonna go ahead and try it and see how it works. Also, when it comes to ceramic diffusers, these discs tend to build algae over time. It clogs them up. You have to go in with a toothbrush and clean it off every once in a while. So that's one reason why I don't use these in all of my tanks. I don't wanna to have to be cleaning out diffusers all the time, but we're gonna go ahead and try it. So what makes it three in one is that it also has a check valve integrated into it. When you're using CO2, you always wanna have a check valve on the exterior portion of the tubing that leads back to the regulator. You don't want any water to back siphon if your system shuts off. Special thanks to Aquatech for helping me set up the cichlid tank. If you're interested in any of these products, there will be links for them down in the description so you can check them out. If you're not using CO2 in your planted aquarium, I highly, highly recommend you at least give it a shot. It honestly makes a world of difference and I will never never, never, never set up a planted aquarium again without CO2. I told myself that a long time ago and I've stuck with it and I'm glad I have because the results of using CO2 are incredible. Let me know down in the comments if you're a fan of CO2, do you use it? Do you like doing it? Do you think it's more work than what's required? And also, what's your ideal CO2 setup? Do you use the paintball setup like I'm about to on the 20? Do you use the five pound tank with the standard regulator? Do you use DIY CO2? Let me and others know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram for daily pics and videos and also subscribe if you're new. We're doing a lot of fun stuff over here. I'm really excited to finish up this tank build and share it with you guys. It's like right off camera. I can see it. I wanna show it to you. Give me a couple more weeks. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.